Okay, this is what I ended up with. Uh, did some research online. I've got the Mazze uh, in fertilizer injector. It's a one half inch uh, diameter. Uh, I'll just go over from where it, the water enters. So we have the female swivel coupler right here that is for a garden hose, the male end of the garden hose. That is threaded 3 8 inch into a 3 8 inch female thread to a slip pipe, a 3 quarter inch pipe slip. Just a very small piece of 3 quarter inch pipe that I cut off that goes into a slip. 3 quarter inch T, both sides are 3 quarter inch T. The neck goes down to a threaded 1 half inch. This is a uh, 1 half inch nipple that's threaded on both sides. It's a 2 inch uh, long nipple that goes into a threaded 1 half inch ball valve goes into a threaded uh, female, you know, end of the ball valve. The, another two inch nipple, one half inch diameter, both sides threaded, goes into an elbow that's threaded on both sides. This is a one and a one eighth inch nipple that goes into a union thread. This is, allows me to uh, get Remove this if I have to um, fertilizer injector using a union. Uh, as you notice, Mazzy fertilizer injector has the, this is a 3 8 inch hose, clear hose, that will then be put to here with, go into a bucket of fertilizer. The flow of the water is this way, so the end closest to the direction of the, the origina origination of the flow is where you want to have this. So this is closer to this side, so that's where that is supposed to go. It's not supposed to be flipped around to be further away from the origin of flow, if that makes sense. Okay, then we have another union to another one and one eighth inch nipple. That's one half thread. This is a threaded elbow just like the other one, a two inch threaded nipple, a threaded uh, ball valve, that's a one and a half inch, one half inch uh, nipple, it's two inches long, to a threaded T. The T is slip pipe, three quarter inch. Uh, coming over back over here, this is a slip to a three-quarter inch pipe, to a slip, to a gate valve. This is a uh, slip female to threaded male, three-quarter inch, to a gate valve that has two female threaded's. Then you uh, go to a male three-quarter inch thread into the female brass gate valve to a slip to a three-quarter inch pipe, to a slip, to a slip, to a, a three-quarter inch pipe, to the male uh, end of a hose connector. So that'll, that'll be the male end that hooks up to the, the rest of the irrigation. Okay, again, this is a three-eighth inch uh, poly pipe. It's clear. That's what I'm going to use to inject the... Um, fertilizer. So right now everything's dry fit. So I'm going to go ahead and use the primer and the cement on these portions, the pipe portions. Everything else I'm going to use uh, fast tape. So I'll keep you posted. Okay, here's the finished product. Went ahead and did PVC cement on all these slip joints across the top here 
everything down below is threaded half inch these are three quarter inch so yeah this will the water will come in through this and go to the irrigation through here and then I've got the poly pipe uh, three quarter or three eighth inch poly pipe here so what I'll do is I'll take one of these gallon jugs and I'll put some miracle grow into it it's a, a scoop per gallon and I'll test this out so I'll take you up and we'll test it out Okay, um, the idea that is that this will be right here, so I just need to remove this. I want the filter to be on the basically the first thing that is on there don't want it to leak <clears throat> okay that's pretty tight there hope there's enough pressure from gravity so basically what's going to happen is I'll open open that up hopefully there's enough pressure that once I put this in let me check for leaks first make that gate keep that gate open close these that should flow right through. Okay. We just had a really good rain. <laughs> you probably can see there's a lot of a lot of water over there. We had a big downpour, so really good news. And you can see that it did a good job over here for everything and we have good uh, good flow I don't see any leaks all right so what I'll do is put this right here close the gate and put this in here it should I really should have swap this around actually let me do that first before I do anything oops the gasket fell this is important this gasket stays in better than this one I did put some silicon lube on this. I must have to mash it before.
Okay, I'm just finger tightening in. I don't want to get it too tight. All right, so the gate's closed. We should see this come in because of the velocity creates a negative pressure. Let's see what happens. nothing okay um, I primed it I siphoned all the way so that it had a, a, a lock there and it looks like it's working because it's drawing I don't know if you can see but it was up here before it's drawing the water it's going really slow but I had to open up both of these Very slowly it's emptying. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do some more work and I'll come back to this and I'll see how well this does. But it looks like it's siphoning. Okay, it looks like it just stopped because... Here. Let me just stop it real quick and siphon again. This needs to be straightened or it'll stop. Have to figure out how to deal with that. It's right there. Dang it. So basically it works. You can see that it's siphoning. It just I have to keep that below the water level. With this I'm going to put a bamboo stick right here zip tie There, that should work better. Okay. There, we'll see how that does. <laughs> I'll get a better solution. But it's working. We'll come back when it's empty. Okay, it drained it. It drained everything but a little bit. That was really good. This worked. Thank goodness. I have to come up with a better solution for this. But I'm real pleased. Now what I'll do is put it into normal mode and open up this gate. All right, I think that does it. We had a good test run. It just takes a while to get through, but the garden's looking really nice. Okay, it's the next day, and what I've decided to do is take this piece of metal with some Gorilla Tape and 
make sure that that's stiffened out. It has a nice little hook here that it'll not go all the way down. So I've got, what I figure I'll do is each half of the garden will get one gallon of the fertilizer. So that, that looks like it'll work good. So yeah, let me try it. I have to close this gate. Open these. Turn the water on. And the gravity. So that's on. And then I'll just I just need to prime this. You can see it a little bubble here. It's moving. Slowly but surely. Okay, we'll check back after a bit. Okay, it's all done. So now I'll do the other side of the garden with this this guy. So real pleased with how this turned out. Hey, thanks so much everybody for watching.